Hey, I'm Simon and I'm here at Airbeam TV to get you started mirroring your Mac to your LG Smart TV. So let's take a look. Okay, so today I am using my trusty old 2013 MacBook Pro, but it is upgraded to the latest OS Big Sur. So first thing I need to do over here is head to the Airbeam website, airbeam.tv. Click this button, download the app, and it will show me a list of TV brands. I'll click LG, because that's what this guy is. And then I wanna go ahead and click App for Mac and download the trial. So we have a free trial version. You can check that it all works to your liking. And then if you like, buy the full thing. So I'll click download the trial now and it will pop up the file that I'm gonna to download to my desktop. Once that's downloaded, very quick, I will open it up like I would a usual DMG file and the installer will guide me through installing this file. Very simple, all I do is drag it into applications and we're done. So before we open the app for the first time, the only other thing I need to check is that the TV and my laptop are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, which they are. So that means I can head into my applications and open Mirror for LG TV. Now we'll get a pop-up straight away that says LG Mirror for LG TV is an app downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? And you know what? I do. So I'm going to click open. Then we will see the icon pop up in our menu bar at the top. Click the menu bar icon to get started. Let's do that. Now the first pop-up we'll see says allow screen recording. We want to go to system preferences and allow this. Now it's important to note, we are not actually recording your screen or keeping any of your data. It's just that that is the process used to beam the information from your Mac to the screen. So I need to go into my system preferences and click on the little lock icon so that I can make changes. That'll get me to type in my password and then I can let Mirror for LG TV have permission and then click quit and reopen. So the app will automatically reopen and it'll pop back up in your menu bar. And at the same time on the TV will be asked for a connection request, which just means can I please connect to this Mac? And you know what? I, I would like you to. So I'm gonna click yes over there. Then we head back over to the Mac and click on the menu bar again. Now it'll pop up this little box that asks for our license key. If you've bought the app, go ahead and type that in, but I'll just click try so that we can use the free trial. Now, before we get started with start mirroring, I wanna click enable sound on TV. Obviously I want the sound from my Mac to come out of my TV speakers. Uh, when I click that, it will ask us to install the audio driver. That's the thing that makes the sound come out of the TV. So I click install, and then we will be guided through the installation process right here on the Mac, which is fairly simple, but also a bit boring. So maybe I'll do it in fast forward. And the audio driver is installed. So I click close and head back up to the menu bar once again, which means I can now click enable sound on TV and it'll ask us to give access to the microphone. Again, we're not recording anything through the microphone or keeping any of the data. It's just that's the function that allows the sound to travel over to the TV. So I click authorize on there and okay there. Finally, I'll click scale display to fit the TV screen so that we know this screen will fit on this screen and the moment of truth. Okay, so I've installed the audio driver. We are almost ready to go. I wanna click start mirroring, but when I do, I get this little pop-up that says install player on TV. So for the best experience, we need to install an app for free onto our LG TV. And if I click install player and continue, it will take me to the app store on the TV where I can click, there it is. I'll click install and that will go ahead and install it. I've actually made a separate video about that app which you can watch here or here or here or here. 
it's around here somewhere. Great, now that this is installed, we should be ready to click Start Mirroring. All I need to do now on my Mac is click Start Mirroring, and then the app will launch on the TV, and in a matter of seconds, my Mac screen will be over on this fella. And there it is. Let's say I wanted to show you some of my lovely holiday pictures or a work presentation. I can easily do that by pulling it up on my laptop. There is a small delay, we call that latency. Shouldn't be a problem if you're doing basic stuff like streaming, but it does mean you won't be able to do any high intensity gaming. Perhaps you wanna watch a video that isn't available through any of the apps. You could pull it up in your browser. I've got Vimeo here. I press play on it there. Give it a full screen. And then you can hear the sound coming out of the TV. Pro tip, if you're gonna be streaming from a streaming service like Disney Plus or Netflix, we recommend using Chrome browser or Firefox browser because they will do the sound and picture great. Safari, unfortunately, isn't fully functional at the moment. And that's how easy it is. If you do have any thoughts, questions, or queries, feel free to get in touch with us via Facebook Messenger or drop us an email. In the meantime, Happy mirroring.